And my last question is, my last question is, what will people miss? What will they miss out on uh, if they allow themselves to really just stay into uh, old pain, old anger, old resentments? What will they miss by not moving past that out into the world of caring for other people? Well, that's a good question. It's a thoughtful question. They're going to miss a lot, and they're going to miss the. They're going to not feel the love of their fellow man. I'll tell you that. They're not going to see things very positively anymore, or hopeful. Um, the other thing that it, what that happens is they won't have the energy to overcome um, and to move forward, which is very important. Instead of moving back or staying stuck in negativity, um, you've got to have that. That hope gives us this passion, this energy to overcome the emotion and physicality that we are burdened by. And we're able to get beyond it. And we have to be able to let go and embrace, um, when I say hope, but we have to embrace what it, the energy that it's going to take to overcome and get through it. Because we can't always see, when we're in the midst of it, the positive outcome. In fact, it's hard. But yes. when you have hope, the nice thing about it is deep down you know that something good is going to come out of this. There's purpose. There's something in this that's going to prove to be pretty darn good, even though I don't know what it is yet. Mm -hmm. And that gives us the energy. And if we embrace that kind of thinking, we can overcome an awful lot of emotion and physical um, handicap. And I know I'm inspired many, with many stories and many people I know that have had the most horrible burdens to carry physically, emotionally, and everywhere, and to watch them overcome and to work through it and get through to the other side brings me to tears every time. Mm -hmm. And um, I've seen so many stories like that, and I've lived through them, and I'm, I'm with people that can come through the other side. To me, that gives you renewed hope mm -hmm. for the human race and mm -hmm. for the human spirit. There are others that I know I'm not going to be able to see that, that I'm going to the best I can do is make them comfortable and love them and care for them and oversee protecting them and doing whatever they take to their last days. To me, that's positive too. And I want to. I, for me, I always want to feel like I don't have any regrets that I didn't do what it took. Um, and I ask other people to keep that in mind when things are rough. Do whatever you can so you don't want work out. Come to the point of being having such regrets that you didn't give it your best. Mm -hmm. Even though the outcome was you couldn't save that person and it wasn't in your hands anyway, it's in God's hands, um, you gave it your best. That's what really matters. And you're going to come away, yes, heartbroken, but feeling good about yourself that you know you did your best and that the person you helped deep down knew that you were giving them they your all too. They knew that too. Yeah. They knew that too. Yeah, so it's a much more loving, selfless, embrace of life mm -hmm. and it's so much better mm -hmm. and it gives you a lot of resilience to go on yeah.